who have a large followings that are well known and who can reach a giant audience anytime they want. Jesse Ventura can do it. I can do it. David, I can do it. Who else is there at that level? And I was responsible partially for waking Ventura up six years ago and giving him information and material. His son Tyrell had already primed the pump. But I was instrumental in bringing Ventura completely over to a full awakening to the fact that this is a big lie. Doesn't mean Ventura has all the answers or I do or Ike does. And I know that he is a good guy who's waking up and learning a lot and has a really good chance to even wake up more and reach tens of millions of people. And so we can't have David Icke and Jesse Ventura fighting with each other because of a comedy of errors. And that's my message, and then I'm just going to finish up briefly here, to Jesse Ventura and to David Icke. This is a comedy of errors. I have been on probably 15 shoots with Jesse Ventura in the last two seasons in this season of Conspiracy Theory. When they're out in the field and we're at some government facility or something, it's live, it's 100% real, it's, it's happening. But when you sit down and do an interview, sometimes the camera guys and lighting guys will take two hours to get ready. I've been there many times with Ventura's like, come on, let's get this done. And then he'll just kind of rant and rave about the New World Order and police state and stuff and issues. I mean, he, he's a real person. He's really passionate behind the scenes about these issues. He'll talk to a waiter. He'll talk to troops at the, at the, um, at the airport. He will sit there and talk at people. And so what happened is Ventura rode the train for a day to get there uh, to meet in Cleveland, Ohio with David Icke where he was speaking. And in, in, in reality TV, they do not want the people that are about to meet to meet beforehand because they want it to be real. And so Ventura gets down there, and he's in one room, and right next to it's Ike. They're keeping him apart. He hears Ventura for an hour talking about issues. Ike is feeling like, Ike says, well, I'd like to go in and meet him. Ike's a nice guy. He's like, I'd like to go meet him. You know, and they're like, no, 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 no. You can't meet with him now because it's just some, you know, mid-level or low-level you know, uh, uh, person who's keeping the schedule. You know, you, and, and that's what he says in the article. He's like, no, 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 sorry, not right now. Didn't tell him why. So he sits there for over an hour, hearing Ventura right in the next room, you know, basically saying, hurry it up, and ah, this new world order, and, you know, ranting about issues. And then Ventura comes in, and they sit down and they start doing the interview, and Ventura's like, give me bullet points, boil it down. And, 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 and Ike's like, come to my nine-hour thing. And Ventura's like, I can't. i got to get back on my, you know, train. And uh, Ike's, well, then why? And, and, and then Ventura, and it's all described here, is like, come on. You know, tell me, you know, when did you see a lizard person? And Ike wants to get all into history and Sumerian texts and Garden of Eden and all this stuff. And then it's interdimensional or spiritual or whatever. And... There's basically like a blow up is basically what he says, and he just got up and left. Now, I get a call last night from the Ventura camp. I'll just leave it at that. And, and they were upset, and they weren't even asking me to call Ike for them or what they should do. They were just telling me, have you heard about this? And I said, no, I haven't heard about it. And, they, and so I pulled up the article and read it, and I said, well, what I think you ought to do and I, and I, is contact David Ike, because there's not many people at this level trying to wake folks up. We don't need people fighting with each other. I said, I, you know, called him turd in a punch bowl 12 years ago. It was wrong. I apologized for it. <clears throat> we need to maybe do a Skype interview since he's gone back to England where, you know, we could say, we decided to, you know, try one more time with Ike and then let Ike somehow boil it down for him. Because, you know, Ike will end up being in the TV show like three, four minutes. So that's why they were like, give it to us quick here. Crystallize it. And Ike's like, no, I'm not going to do that. Now, speaking to David Icke, reading his article, he's like, first, the arrogant one, Ventura, sits there for an hour making me wait, uh, bla you know, blabbering. Uh, well, no, that's because Ventura is so real. He, you know, he's in there talking about the New World Order. Then, uh, you know, Braverman wanted me to sign the release form first because this was obviously a setup. And I could see how it looked like a setup. No, they always want people to sign a release form in case something happens in the interview. And Ventura is going to ask hard questions. But that's just standard for TV. And, and, and David Icke was a national TV host. He, he knows that. But I can understand how this all looks. 
And then he also, the one thing Ike does that isn't fair, and, and I understand that David was upset, so I'm not attacking him. I've said things that I think are a little bit, you know, off color. He says, oh, they keep mentioning, you know, on TV how he was a Navy SEAL. Well, sorry, you know, don't Navy SEALs kill people? I don't think that's good. I'm not into killing people. Well, by the way, Jesse's anti-war and, 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 and anti-offensive war. So he's not into killing people either. Basically, I know Ventura. Sometimes he gets in, in kind of a grumpy mood. I'm, I'm sure that's what was going on. Ike had been super ill, so ill he almost didn't do the interview with us. And he still did the interview the day before, did the interview with them. And both guys aren't going to be pushed around, and they just clashed. Two tough guys. Because, you know, Ike back in his day was a tough guy and champion soccer player. And, you know, I've read about him and stuff. He, he, he's not a wimp. And so, so the whole th deal is you get two tough guys together. They start arguing. Ike thinks it's a setup. It blows up. But Ike, and I mentioned here, he says, well, Alex said it was going to be a nice, friendly piece. And I'm sure Alex meant well and is correct. Uh, you know, he says, I have no doubt that Alex believed what he said to be true. But the problem was, you know, something else happened. David, you were on their show two years ago, and it was totally positive. What's happened here, David, is that Ventura is nervous covering these subjects, but he's covered all the hardcore things that can be proven. People want to hear this covered. And so this season, some of their episodes are subjects that Ventura uh, isn't uh, you know, entirely comfortable with. So he's going to put you on the hot seat. And, you're, and I always see David shine on the hot seat on international television and things. So David was sick. Ventura was in a grumpy mood. You guys need to get back on the phone, be friends, and not have this piece come out 